Let's fix Safari if it's not working on your iPhone. Now, if you're trying to browse different websites, maybe watch videos in Safari and it's not working, I'm gonna show you a few different steps to get that fixed. The first thing that we'll do is we'll go into our settings here and we're just gonna to toggle on airplane mode and then toggle it back off. This will disconnect from any kind of Wi-Fi or cell signal and then reconnect to see if potentially it was just an internet issue. By reconnecting to the internet, Safari might work at that point. The next thing that we'll do is we'll scroll down until we find Safari on this list. And then we're gonna do a couple different things on here. So if we scroll down, you can see towards the bottom here is clear history and website data. So let's tap on that and then hit clear history and data. This wipes out all of your cache, your histories, your cookies, all of that stuff on Safari and a lot of times helps to fix any kind of bugs if it's just not working very well. Now, another thing we're gonna do is where it says hide IP address, I'm gonna go in there and on here, you might wanna tap off because potentially if you're hiding your IP address, some websites won't work if you're hiding that IP address from them. So switch that to off and then let's go, that all looks good, let's go back and we're gonna make sure that Safari is basically set to be able to run on your cellular data. So let's go to the very top, tap on cellular, and then we'll scroll down and you can see Safari is on this list. So if you toggle that off, if you're on mobile data, you won't be able to use Safari to open any websites or anything like that. You can only do it on Wi-Fi. So make sure that is toggled on so that you can use that. The next thing we'll do is we'll go back again and tap on general and then software update. Check to see if you have a software update. These Safari updates are built into iOS, so just update to the latest version of iOS. Sometimes this fixes any kind of bugs in Safari. And then the last thing we'll do is we'll go into iPhone storage here. This will show all of the apps on our iPhone. We'll just scroll down and find Safari on this list, there it is. Tap on Safari on here, you can see under website data, if there's any website data, you can hit at the very bottom, remove all website data. You can see if there's any off offline reading, history, downloads, extensions, basically go through all of these and delete out all of that information because potentially some kind of extension is causing an issue that is not working or something like that. So delete out everything. And then the last thing you can do is just restart your phone. So tap the volume up, the volume down and then tap and hold that side button and it will force restart your phone and a lot of times this fixes any kind of bugs or glitches if something is stalling. Hope this helps. If you have any questions on that, leave them in the comments down below and I'll catch you on the next one.